Propping Health Beat, a new technique that will allow heart and brain surgeons to go where no person has gone before. And Chicago is just one of a handful of locations worldwide where this is happening. It is a technique called stereotaxis, and it is a surgical solution that is making procedures more precise for doctors and a whole lot easier for the patients. Doctors at Rush Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center are using this radically new magnetically controlled system to enter the brain. 48-year-old Paul Kelsey is undergoing brain surgery, but there's no cutting involved. He's been experiencing double vision caused by a malformed blood vessel that has swelled. Surgeons are depending on the stereotaxis system to guide and navigate them through the vessels in Paul's brain. It maximizes the potential for treatment, and from my point of view, it, it revolutionizes the whole area of, of neurosurgery having to do with uh, navigation throughout the brain. Here's how it works. A tiny incision is made in the groin to access the artery. A specially designed catheter is placed in the hole and is guided by a magnet through blood vessels to the brain. With the help of an MRI, the surgeon sits at a computer and uses a mouse-like device to guide the tip of the catheter using a magnetic field. This, while the system advances the catheter to the targeted area in the brain one millimeter at a time. In the past, doctors had to rely on their own skill to reach the target area, but the twist and turns in the vessels sometimes made that impossible. The alternative was opening up the skull for surgery. So it really adds another dimension to it. You can uh, have the magnetic field uh, assisting you, and uh, together, technology and the ability of the surgeon be able to get to places that uh, we could never uh, even imagine in the past. At a news conference today, Paul Kelsey explained how his vision is beginning to improve. Conventional treatments had not worked for him. He says he's just glad this technology came for him at the right time. I'm just thankful that I was here at the same time in the same city and same place as the machine. And surgeons say there are endless applications for the stereotaxis system. Among the many possibilities, doctors at Rush are now planning to test it on brain aneurysms, the heart, strokes, tumors, movement disorders in Parkinson's disease, and epilepsy. Doctors say as far as the brain, they can now reach 90% of the vessels they need to get to. Before stereotaxis, they could only reach about 60%.